So we're going to pass it on to our friends Adrian and Freddie of MoonPay, who uh, are valuable partners in the Flow ecosystem, and they have something exciting to to share with the community. Adrian, do you want to uh, unmute and take us for a spin? Hi everyone, very nice to uh, to meet you. Um, my name is Adrian. I lead strategy at uh, MoonPay and really focused on NFTs and Flow. Awesome. Uh, did you want to share your screen and, and give us a demo? Just loading. Freddie? Great, we got you. It's all in the screen. Oh. Whenever you're ready, Freddy. Oh, sorry. All good. Fantastic. Sorry about that. Having uh, technical difficulties. Hi, uh, I'm Freddy. Uh, I'm the ecosystem lead at Moonpay. Um, some of you might know me uh, already. Uh, I know uh, um, uh, a lot of you uh, might already be clients of ours. But uh, today we're just going to go through a high level um, of what Moonpay is, uh, share some exciting news, um, some cool developments which we've been working on behind the scenes uh, with Flow, um, which we're incredibly excited to share and uh, uh, show and uh, spread out in the ecosystem. So for those who don't know us, um, we are uh, um, uh, the, the world's largest um, on-ramp provider. What we do is we provide incredibly easy experiences for people to buy uh, um, uh, cryptocurrencies, something that's super relatable, something that's super understandable for non-crypto natives and crypto natives alike, and there's something uh, that is uh, super uh, um, uh, relatable and, and easy to use. Um, we're live in 162 uh, countries. Um, uh, Flow is available and FUSD is available in all of those now, including the United States, which we're super happy to, to, to say. Um, a lot of work has gone into that, uh, that Flow US listing. Um, we're well over 400 partners now. Uh, we support uh, uh, Visa, MasterCard, um, multiple different um, uh, card methodologies. Of course, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, ACH, SEPA, and faster payments in the United Kingdom as well. We're constantly adding new payment methods uh, to promote inclusion uh, uh, and make it easier um, for everybody to, to, to buy and to get into these, uh, uh, these cryptocurrencies so they can be enabled inside the, the Flow ecosystem. Um, we push these uh, live uh, um, uh, fairly regularly and we're working on uh, new, um, new payment methods in, in South America and Southeast Asia as well as Africa as well. Uh, make sure we're, 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 we're giving the ability for people to um, to use the, the the payment method that they that they particularly want to. So, uh, on the on-ramping side, uh, it's super straightforward. Uh, it's it's an iframe. It's an incredibly easy uh, integration, uh, and of course, it's super mobile friendly and web friendly as well. So, for those that are developing games, uh, or um, for, for iOS, or for or for those that have a web. We may have Wrong. lost Freddy. <laughs> oh, guys, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah you're back. Can. You're back. So where did you lose me? Um, Just 10, 15 seconds ago. Thank you. Ah, apologies. So uh, I'm, I'm pushing to talk at the moment. So apologies. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the highest converting on-ramp experience in the world. Um, our KYC time is incredibly fast. We're super happy to say that it's sort of sub 40 seconds. Um, we now have uh, in excess of 10 million pre-KYC users um, that can utilize the MoonPay ecosystem uh, uh, um, really in, in, in any application. For, so for example, we're in Blockto. Uh, if they bought FUSD with their card in Blockto, uh, they can go into any other application, uh, whether that be for the NFT product, which we're gonna show you in a minute, or through the, the on-ramp uh, and easily use their email address in order to on-ramp uh, um, uh, directly. Uh, don't have to enter their KYC again. All their card details are stored super, super easily. Um, and of course, they have access to, to, to their preferred payment methods as, as well. 
Um, we uh, use uh, um, utilize um, a, a special type of, of delivery methodology, uh, which we innovated. Um, so Flow actually has one of, if not the fastest delivery times uh, in the MoonPay ecosystem. I believe that the average time for an FUST delivery is under 10 seconds now. So we're super happy to, uh, to, to say that. Um, of course, native Web3 support and integration uh, and direct integration with Blockto or other Flow wallets in the future, um, as well as uh, multi acquirer support and uh, full fraud coverage. So uh, we're, we're scanning for fraud. We have a link to all the blacklists, uh, whitelists of, of, of individuals, um, anybody that's politically exposed. Uh, we're going through and we're taking all that burden away from you. We're taking all the chargeback burden away from you and really just giving you a solution that you just don't have to worry about. Uh, any regulatory requirements or anything. We take all that responsibility. Uh, can they, next slide, please. So this is where, especially for Flow as, a, um, as a, um, a, an initially NFT orientated blockchain, this is where this new product is, is really going to change things. And we've been working so hard We've been working so hard over the past couple of months to uh, um, to, to, to get this up. Um, and we're going to be super excited to say that uh, this is going to be available uh, right at the beginning of December for every single uh, Flow application. So finally, we'll ask you again, Freddie. Sorry, but I'm still pushing to talk. Um, finally, you will be able to buy Flow NFTs directly with your credit card uh, on chain uh, and both for primary sales and secondary drops as well. So for secondary marketplaces, it will also facilitate that. No KYC is required um, uh, under seven and a half thousand US dollars. Um, and um, of course, we, we know that uh, there are uh, uh, always uh, a challenge with acceptance rates uh, for crypto based purchases. This uses, uh, uses a different, we've been working very hard with Visa and MasterCard. Um, this uses a different categorization, which allows us to have incredibly, to allows us to have incredibly high uh, acceptance rates uh, uh, globally. Uh, that's sort of well north of, of, of 80, 85 uh, to 90 percent, uh, which we've been testing in, in, in real world data at the moment. So, so, Freddie, are you saying that people can buy NFTs without having to buy crypto first? Exactly. And it will automatically be deposited into your wallet of choice, whether that be Blockto or, or, or anything else, indeed. Fabulous. Um, the whole idea of this is, especially with NFTs, and, and when I was at uh, NFT NYC, uh, I was listening to Roham uh, talk. And uh, one thing that was sort of very, very um, prominent is uh, I think initially with Top Shots, especially it, uh, the word NFT or even blockchain was barely ever mentioned. And this really kind of comes into play where NFTs are almost like the gateway drug into crypto. It is an incredibly easy way, uh, incredibly understandable and approachable way for people to enter the Web3 world. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to make the ingress of that totally seamless. Um, so uh, very, but also incredibly transparent. You can see the wallet addresses. Uh, you can see the sort of the on-chain transaction. However, um, it's still a, uh, a very easy methodology and in order to understand, we wanted to make it grandma proof, we wanted to make it granddad proof, uh, where anybody can buy an NFT uh, in an online game, uh, in, a, in a, a marketplace, um, and, and so forth. Uh, bye, please. We appreciate that very much. Awesome. So, Adrian, could you uh, open the link? So, we're actually going to show you, uh, not the, the video if possible, but the, yeah, so we're actually going to, we're going to show you, um, because obviously this isn't live on Flow just yet, we're just finishing testing. Uh, we're actually going to show you a, uh, um, a, a full integration UX mock-up, which we did for CryptoKitties, uh, which uh, we are uh, in the process of, 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 of looking at. So click continue, please. And let's just go straight to the, because obviously this goes through uh, uh, the MetaMask process. There we go. So, um, Let's click on that Crypto Kitty. So here we've got Crypto Kitty. Now, obviously, this is in a marketplace. So imagine if this is in, uh, um, and you're going to have a lot of control over the UX, where you place this payment system, how this operates. So we're going to click Pay by Card here. Now, as you can see, uh, we got a super nice uh, little uh, um, a preview of what the NFT is. Um, sorry, Adrian, could you go back one second? Thank you. Um, uh, what the NFT is. 
Um, uh, we've got the sort of the breakdown of the cost and the transparent fees, and you can even click on to, to view that asset on chain uh, if you want to, to, to just verify that everything is uh, legitimate. So let's click continue. Um, so for this person, um, they've already entered their email address. They bought something before. You're in the app. Uh, it's detected that uh, uh, um, there's a login session um, or, or, or inside the website. And immediately here, uh, you'll have uh, it will automatically Web3 inject the wallet address uh, or, to, or connect directly to Blockto uh, um, in order to uh, seamlessly input that wallet straight in. We're also working on uh, uh, new methodologies as well, uh, which are going to enable people that don't have wallets uh, uh, to automatically spin up a wallet in the background. All that sort of stuff is in the works as well. Uh, so it's going to two-factor and verify your email. And then you've got your card. So again, um, you, people use the MoonPay ecosystem in, in a lot of different applications, and your cards are shared uh, um, uh, through all of those applications. So it's gonna, um, your payment method is going to be auto-selected, your last payment method, and you're just going to click buy now. Immediately, uh, you're just going to go through the transaction verification. Uh, you're going to see the process. You're going to uh, see the, uh, the base costs and the fees. And then there it is. You'll get a nice little notification to say that it's been uh, successfully delivered. And it'll be delivered in almost real time. And there you have it. You own the NFT. Uh, everything's done. I haven't bought any crypto, but it's an on-chain transaction that's happened in the background. Uh, um, everybody gets paid. So you, as the developers, uh, you get settled out by MoonPay in, a, in a, uh, a currency of your choice. It can be in Flow, it can be in FUSD, it can be in Fiat. Uh, you can directly choose then how you want to be settled out with us. That's all part of the package. Um, this demo doesn't show it, but it also uh, pivots to a secondary marketplaces. So Last year. Uh, uh, the seller in that case, in the secondary marketplace, uh, will receive a payout via MoonPay uh, uh, in, in a currency of their choice as well. So uh, sort of summarize, summarizing that, if you go on the next slide. Of course, um, uh, yeah, actually, I'm um, sorry, Adrian, if you could just return. Uh, one thing I did miss out here is no KYC is required again. Uh, just want to absolutely verify that. Um, but you have full chargeback uh, support, uh, full chargeback coverage, all your MTL um, uh, burden, your money transmission burden, and your MSB burden is is apologies is taken on by MoonPay. Uh, it is compatible with custodial and non-custodial wallet infrastructure. It's incredibly easy to add on to your existing on-ramp. And of course, this solution, if you're a MoonPay customer, if you're not a MoonPay customer, you pay absolutely nothing to us. This is totally uh, inclusive of your current on-ramp contract. If you're not working with us at the moment, then uh, uh, all on-ramp um, as well as this solution is, is all uh, included in, in uh, uh, the base fees uh, which we have. Um, so super easy. We want to get as many people integrated with this as possible. It's going to really break down the barriers to entry into NFTs uh, and allow a truly a sort of native process um, uh, for primary and secondary sales into NFTs on flow. Should we go through the next? So this, so this is just a high level overview. Uh, again, you have a sort of two times higher conversion uh, than uh, um, than the. Uh, 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 the the on ramp solution. Um, again, I know this is something where, that has plagued the industry a little bit. Banks don't like crypto, but it turns out banks love NFTs, which is fantastic. So uh, we're really utilizing that in order to get through those issues of, uh, of, uh, of 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 banks not accepting crypto transactions. They will accept these transactions. Um, where there is KYC required for very large amounts, we will go through that with a super minimal and our industry leading process. Uh, credit cards and bank transfers, are called, of course, are supported. The NFT checkout flow is streamlined for conversions. You're using the highest converting uh, uh, um, on-ramp provider in the world. Um, and, of course, 100% guaranteed payments. No chargebacks, no reversals. We are um, entirely responsible for the delivery of the NFT to the client. And we also do... We also deal with all the customer service requirements based on that. Um, this uh, will be available. Um, with, we're starting to onboard people now with this. Um, uh, this is usually put in in a nice combination with uh, the on-ramp solution. Um, and so uh, you can contact your, uh, your flow uh, solutions engineer um, or Adrian, if you go on to the next slide. 
you can directly email us at flow at moonpay.com um, and we can get on uh, um, uh, on help you get on the road to uh, integrating this solution super, super easily. Um, some of you may already be in contact with myself or other members of our team uh, about this. Um, and if you haven't, then uh, definitely get in contact with uh, your, your representative here at MoonPay and we can start to guide you through this process as, as soon as it becomes available in the next week or so. So I'm just going to open up for, for questions now. Thanks so much, Freddie uh, and Adrian. Really appreciate you taking the time to, to run through that with us. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, if anybody would like, please unmute yourselves, say hello, and ask away. Uh, I can start off the questions. Lovely. Uh, stuff. Thank you so much for making this. This is really cool. Uh, I've been asking about it for a long time to you, Freddie, and I think I'm really happy it's coming together. Uh, I was wondering about failure cases um, where one buys it, uses their credit card to buy an NFT, and then the NFT, for some reason, say a flow spork starts right then, doesn't get delivered. Um, what happens and sort of how does that user experience look like? Very good question. So the way that this works without um, diving too uh, in depth is uh, the funds are secured by MoonPay before the process happens. However, they're not actually moved out of the user's um, uh, bank account and or uh, a card. So um, in, in real time, the system will be monitoring uh, the movement of that NFT from uh, uh, wherever um, the, 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 uh, uh, the originating point to obviously their wallet address. Um, and if anything goes awry within that, within that uh, point, uh, they will get an error message. Uh, that error message will be explained um, to the user uh, and the funds will be immediately released into their, um, into their, uh, back, into their bank account. So there's no way in which if there is ever a failure in that process the funds never leave the bank account not properly they never leave the consumer's bank account until they have their nft so it means that the user uh, funds and experience is always preserved and the system is designed uh, to be uh, uh, proof of that failure so it, it, it can't really happen uh, the, the user is just uh, informed um, but the money will never leave until they get their nft Perfect. Thank you. Hey, uh, super cool, Freddie. I like this a lot. Um, curious, uh, what if somebody disputes a um, uh, charge later on on their card? MoonPay take 100% of that responsibility. Full stop. Got it. it Moon... Yeah, we had Very one exciting time. stuff. We had a conversation once about uh, payment descriptors where you know, the, the, the item on your bill would uh, read or would list something that, you know, hopefully was familiar to you at the time um, so that you know not to charge it back. But the nice thing is, is that it's on, it's on MoonPay's side. So if somebody does charge back, it doesn't, it doesn't affect you as the, the app developer, which we think is great. Yeah, we take total responsibility for that. Um, we are technically contracted to the end user themselves. So we are responsible to the end user for delivering these services. That's what offsets all of this risk, uh, uh, all the compliance risk uh, and everything away from you. Exactly as Albert said on the dynamic descriptors as well, uh, we're working hard on new innovations in order to make sure that the, the end user is fully aware and there is a highest level of transparency as to what they bought and where they bought it from in order to minimize things like friendly fraud, uh, uh, accidental chargebacks, uh, and all those kind of things. But uh, at the end of the day, MoonPay take responsibility and we also take the customer service responsibility. Boom, we love it. That That's very helpful. Really excited about this product um, and the uh, positive effects it's sure to have on the ecosystem. So thanks so much, Freddie and Adrian, for joining us. There's still time.